Hey guys, in this week's tip, we're going to continue with our series of taking a look at the features and functions of SMS payment, this time taking a look at the targeted offers functionality. Today, we're going to do a typical birthday promotion, only this time we're going to automate it, and then secondarily, we're going to take a look at trying to convince a customer to switch from their typical national brand item over to our house brand item of that same type. So without further ado, let's hop in. So before we get into actually setting up one of these targeted promotions, let's talk a little bit about what they actually are. Targeted offers in the SMS world are basically store coupons or could be vendor coupons that are given to either specific customers or groups of customers or all customers so long as criteria are met. Now this differs a little bit from the typical SMS electronic coupons that you're used to in that we have some more functionality and some more availability of restrictions on these particular targeted promotions. So let's hop into this thing and I think you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is go through the tool that we have set up here in SMS to help you set up and create these targeted promotions. It's called the Electronic Offer Utility and it looks just like this little table here on your screen. I got to it from the Analysis menu, Offer Utilities, Offer Generator. That pops up this little window here. Now let's go through and explain these fields so that everything makes sense. If we start at the top here, you can see that we can set this offer up, this targeted promotion up by either the main UPC or the alternate code, whichever one is easiest for you. The item number here, that's where we're going to type it in manually. We could double tap as well and get a quick pick list, or we could use the typical SMS filter and browser to search for the item or items, however it is that you normally do. This will make a lot more sense here in just a second. Off to the right here, this field that will be the description of the item that we populate here. The expiration field here is just that. This is one of those advanced functions that the targeted offers in SMS payment allow us to do. Set an expiration date for this particular promotion that we're going to create. These three fields over here to the right, those are the discounts that we're going to make in this targeted offer. A dollar off right here, a percentage off in the middle, or if the whole item is free, you can just tap this little radio button here and then the whole item will show up for free. Now this value out here, this will be dependent on what you select here and it will also be dependent on what the pricing is of the item that's selected. This will all make much more sense in just a second. The data bar code here is the data bar that's generated because of the offer that we created up here with the item number, the expiration date, whatever type of discount that we're given. So that is being created by what we're doing in this tool set. The descriptor here is exactly that. It's the descriptor of the offer and you will see it pre-populate with some data once we set this up. Customers, that's where we select one customer, all customers, or certain customers. Now you can manually type it in, search for customers via the filter in the browser like what you're used to, or double tap here as well to get that handy dandy pick list. This quantity field right here, it's another unique function of the targeted offers tool set. If we were to go ahead and put in five here and tap enter, what this will do is provide this offer that we created up here to the customer or customer groups that we select here five times. So they can get this offer five times. The system will keep track of each time that they use that offer and then deduct the available offers left based on what we input here. So it's a great way to provide the customers options, especially when you got groups of customers, to use the promotion anytime that's most convenient for them and allow them multiple times to use the promotion. Very little neat tool. This clip needed radio button right here, if checked, it's a neat little tool as well that can be used to force the customer to do something in order to earn the promotion that we set up here. What the customer may need to do, you ask? Well, maybe they have to present a printed barcode that was emailed to them from the store, or they could present that barcode on an email on a phone, or if they're using SMS eStore or mStore, they might have to go into the functionality of eStore and mStore and actually touch that they want this offer, select it from a list of offers that are available to them. So clip needed is just a newer way of doing that old fashioned cut out of the Sunday paper. These two buttons out here to the right hand side, those are the pieces that actually execute the offer up here. Add offer will do it for a specific customer that we select in the field here, or perhaps over here in the browser. Global, the only difference is whatever this offer is up here, it will do it to all customers within the browser window. So if you got 50 customers in the browser window here, you hit global, all 50 customers will get access to this offer. These bottom two radio buttons here for used and new, those are just sections to allow you to review what's going on in the store currently. What coupons are used, hit used. What coupons are new, hit new. That's all you do and it's going to show and list out those targeted offers right here in this section. So let me clean this up a little bit and then we're going to set one of these bad boys up so you can get a better idea of what's going 
going on. All right, so the first example that we're going to do is going to be based off of what we said we were going to do as a requirement up front. We want to create a targeted offer for all the customers in our store that have a birthday in the month of August. So we're going to automate this offer so that anytime during the month of August the customer comes in, they're going to get, in this case, a free flan that we make over in the deli. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my regular old filter that you're used to. I'm in a basic item cost view. You guys are used to seeing this. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the description of the brand, and I'm going to type in house here, and I'm going to double tap enter. And that's going to bring back all the stuff that I make in my deli and bakery and all that good stuff. What I want to focus on for this particular offer is this one right here, item number 63, which is my made-from-scratch flan, a really delicious little treat that I think the customers will enjoy for their birthday. Now, if you notice, if when I tap here into the browser window, it put the item number over here into our little tool. If I go to another one up here, let's just go to this bagel and cheese, you'll see it's changing that item based on what's going on here. So I'm going to come back down to my flan, and now we're going to have the main item UPC already set up. It's pulling from the database what the description is. I'm also going to come down to the expiration date field here, double tap, bring up my handy dandy calendar tool, select the month of August, and then select the 31st. I'm going to force the customers to use this free promotion, because I'm going to come over here and click free right now on that little toolbar, and say the customers have to use the free promotion for this item within the month of August. Remember, we're selecting all customers with birthdays in the month of August. I want them to use it in the month of August. Now we're going to come back over here to free. I, you saw that I double tapped that and the system went out and grabbed the current price in the system of $379 right over here in the price table. So it's populating, pre-populating for us the value of this particular offer. If I were to come over here and just say it's a dollar off, you'll see this number out here will change based off what's going on. Now if you were quick, you'll also notice that the data bar changed because it's actually updating itself based on the criteria that we're building up here in this promotion. So for now, we're going to go ahead and take this dollar out and we're going to go ahead and enter there. You saw the data bar update. We're going to offer this to the customer for free. It's a $3.79 value. Here's our data bar that if we wanted to use, we could go ahead. I'm going to save that for another video though and give you some ideas for that. Now, right down here as well, you see the description of this particular promotion. This is what will show up on the POS screen and also on the receipt. Now to this point, we've built our offer right up here based on the item that we want, the offer, the value of, that we want, it created the data bar and it gave us the description. What we have not done is set this up to target specific customers. So that's going to be step number two. Now I'm not going to say that my methods are, are a way to do this that are the best, but what I find easiest, go grab your item, however it is that you want, bring that item over, create the offer, now let's work on the customers. So remember, the criteria for the video that we showed up front, we're going to send this offer out to everyone that has a birthday in the month of August. Well, we've got a nice little tool in SMS to help with that. It's located under Tools, and then it's Customer Event Checks. You're going to get this little window pop up, and then there's this Customer Birthday Filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and move this down so things are a little bit easier to see, and let's go through this right now. So what this little tool is going to do is allow us to select any one of these criteria right here, and it's going to go to the database, the customer file, and it's going to pull those customers back. And you can see right down here, my execute button says show in the browser. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to double tap here. I'm going to change my date to August 1st. And then I'm going to change my ending date. I'm going to come over here again and go down to August 31st this time. So I'm selecting birthdays from my customer file between 81 and 831. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit show in the browser and watch what happens. Up here in the browser, it brought back four customers from my demo database with their birthdays in the month of August. Now, for all of you out there that know me, my birthday is in the month of August, so be sure to send those cakes and cookies and even made-from-scratch flans. I love those things to death. But seriously, what we're doing is filling out the second part of our targeted offer by selecting the customers that are relevant to the offer that we made just a second ago. Now, if we keep it just like it is and I hit the Add Offer button, the only customer that will receive this free flan is Mark Cuban because he's the one that's highlighted here. Now, if I come in the browser and I highlight customer number 58, you'll see that will update over here. I could hit Add offer and then Elizabeth here would be the only person in the browser that gets this offer. That's not what I want to do though. Remember what we said up front all customers with a birthday in the month of August get a free made from scratch flan. 
I brought them all into the browser using my handy dandy birthday filter down here. Now I'm going to simply hit the global button and what's going to happen is you're going to get a confirmation. All four customers, you want to get this offer? Oh heck yeah. Hit OK. Our offer is created and we'll go through this little quick review and then we'll hop over to the POS and test it out. So what this little entry is right here, it's just a quick review of the offer that we made and who we offered it to. Well it actually doesn't show who, I'll show you that here in a second. But it's saying this is what we're offering, it's a GS1 type of promotion here's the expiration date end of August here's the value and here's the quantity now it doesn't show us all customers that apply to this but I'm gonna take you to that in just a second once we go over to the POS and test this out because it'll make more sense when we look at the review after we have sold one alright so I hopped over into my basic SMS POS screen I'm gonna go ahead and ring in my flan here and you can see that the regular price is 379 now to prove that this doesn't work for all customers I'm gonna go ahead and hit subtotal and you can see that the system is still wanting to charge three dollars and seventy nine cents for this thing so that's perfect it's set up exactly the way we want it now watch, watch what happens when I go ahead and identify the customer I bring myself in whoa look at that the store coupon automatically applied it took the 379 off because I'm in the month of August it's my birthday and that coupon applies to me that's pretty cool and that's exactly what your customers can see they don't really have to do anything in that scenario because we didn't check the clip added radio button all they had to do was buy the item in this case the scratch plan they go to the register just like normal they show their customer identification card or however it is that you know who they are and then once that item is scanned voila they get the item for free just like we set up now that is pretty darn cool. Okay, so I hop back into Pro and I want to show you one other tool that we can utilize to understand whether or not this offer is working. It's under the Analysis menu, Offer Utilities. This time we're going to select Offer Analysis. It's going to open a new window. I'm just going to drag it down here so we can take a good look at it. What this is is a summary listing. If we had more targeted promotions that we created over here to the right, you would see a listing of them here. But this is a summary of what's going on with the offers that are created. So in this offer, it's the exact same thing that we set up back here earlier on in the video and it's showing that we have four total uh, options out there that can be used for this offer it's actually four customers remember we pulled four customers with birthdays in the month of August we can also see that one of those customers has actually used the offer so now we know what our total exposure is on this promotion if all four use it it's 15 16 that's just four people times 379 that's pretty easy to figure out but we can also see how many people have used this offer so at the end of August we can determine whether or not this was a good promotion or a bad promotion based on usage now let's say we're sitting here and we're saying self I can't remember what customers actually get this offer well hit this little button right here and it's gonna throw those four customers that are relevant to the offer we created over here back into the browser so you can take a look at the customers and use all the tools that you're used to in SMS from a browser perspective to see what's going on with them now let's see if we can figure out how to convince a customer to stop buying the national brand of ketchup in this case and buy our house brand you know why because I make more money on my house brand so let's take a look at that right now so in this new targeted promotion scenario what we're going to do is try to convince customers that buy the national brand of ketchup to buy our newly introduced house brand of ketchup because we make a little bit more money on it so I cheated a little and I got this stuff in here just to save some time so I got both the items that are concerned about on this particular offer the regular ketchup that all the folks are buying you can see right over here in my movement by date you can see I'm making about 55 points of margin on the on the national ketchup but if I look at my newly introduced house brand of ketchup I'm making 63 percent margin on it now it's only pennies difference when you do the math on it but still heck pennies a penny so we might as well see what we can do so what I'm gonna do is try to get the customers to spend three dollars and twenty nine cents versus three dollars and forty eight cents over time and hopefully they'll like my stuff better than the national brand so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this movement window right here I'm gonna go ahead and select my house brand of ketchup and that's gonna pre-populate everything over here in our electronic offer utility just like what we're used to so most of this stuff here at the top half of our tool is the same only this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna give the customer 50 percent off I'm gonna type in 50 in that percent field hit enter and you're gonna see it's gonna go ahead and value what that coupon is 50 percent of standard price of 329 right over here the data bar populated the promotion description populated as well so that's exactly what we wanted to have happen to be able to find what customers Customers, I want to send this targeted offer to I need to know what customers bought the national brand of ketchup 
Well, there are some pretty cool tools in SMS that allow you to do that, and they're in the cubes. So I'm going to go to cubes, customer, customer summary. Now it's going to pop up this cube. I want to drag it down here so we can see what's going on. Now, by default, what it's going to do is pull up the cube of everybody, every customer in our file that we have a customer number and a name for that has bought in this month of July. I selected the month, and I selected July right here. You can pick any month, day, week, whatever it is that you want. These are all the customers that have purchased so far in the month of July. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little tool right up here. Use items from browser. Now watch this. This is pretty sexy stuff. When I click this, the cube updates to only customers that have bought the items in the browser. Well, if you remember, when we had the movement by date window open, we just introduced our house brand of ketchup. Nobody's bought it yet. So all of this data right down here, that's for this Heinz brand of ketchup right here. These are the folks that have bought the Heinz tomato ketchup in the month of July. They're the exact ones I want to target in this particular promotion. So what I'm going to do is reset up my targeted offer right over here. Everything's set up, 50% off. I got the right house brand ketchup item number here. Now I'm going to come down here to my cube and I'm going to do one other really sexy thing, update browser. Look at that. It threw the customers that bought the national brand into the browser. Now what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to come right over here to my tool set. I'm going to hit the global window. It's going to say, do you want to send this to all three customers? And we're going to say, heck yeah. These are the guys that bought the national brand. I want to give those three folks this offer for 50% off house brand of ketchup. That is pretty cool indeed. In this video, we showed you just two little bitty things that you can do with a targeted offer capability within SMS. I'm sure there are a ton of questions, there are a ton of requests, so please send them in and we can take a look at them. I think we're going to continue this video series a bit more because there's a heck of a lot more powerful stuff that you can do with targeted promotions. But with both criteria met for this week's video, that's it for this week's tip. Until next time, have a great day.